Yeah, because that video that was great. I watched that film and thought, I mean, obviously the guy's six foot four. Well, yeah, it's Chris Emworth, mate. You know, he, he looked a little bit long hair like Thor, didn't he? So, you know. Oh, that, that is just a genuinely great haircut. Yeah. See, when I saw the video, what was good about that is the way at the end of the video was, you know, even looking dry, I can get away with that in a work environment. You know yeah. I mean? yeah, 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 yeah. Sort of dry look, so, yeah, I thought that was brilliant. Hey guys, welcome back to the Regal Gentleman YouTube channel. Um, we are doing our transformation series now and we've got Ruri in the chair so Ruri what are we doing mate what is the what is the transformation yeah for me it was obviously seeing the video you did um about the sort of extraction here because okay. Chris Hemworth Scott Brilliant. really enjoyed that video yeah yeah and um, I massively need a haircut of any yeah, shape yeah. or form I think that <laughs> was probably the style I'd quite like okay in yeah the sense of I could get away with wearing that and work. yeah yeah, you definitely. Know, it's a really product. flexible haircut, believe, yeah, believe exactly. it or not, yeah. And then yeah, yeah. I need that sort of flexibility for, you know, when I'm on cam yeah, yeah. camera. When yeah, yeah. Zoom calls for work. Yeah, yeah, of course. All right, and that's yeah, yeah. And you can play about with it when it's the weekend cool. and stuff. Cool, yeah, definitely. So for me, it would be something like, like that. Okay. As close to that as you can get, really. Yeah, 100. I mean, that's the thing. We can do, you can do any haircut on somebody as long as you match it to their hairstyle yes. and, stuff and their hair texture. But you've got... So Chris Hemsworth, his hair is very straight, okay? Yeah. It's very straight, it's very thick as well. We could get away with that on yours as well, because you've got a lot of thickness in your hair. It yeah. is very thick. Yeah. Um, his hairline's different to yours. Yeah. You've got slightly higher, yours is slightly higher, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. So it's still full, it doesn't matter. Um, so essentially what that haircut is, now, again, on the video that we did, it was on a mannequin. Yeah. So it, do, it isn't as true to life as it would be realistically. Yeah. So I, with his, it looks as though, because he's got blonde hair as well, yeah. like blondy kind of, you know, light brown blonde hair. Um, the shorter you go on that, the, the more scalp exposure you see. He looks like, to me, he's probably got a one and a half yeah. back and sides. I think on yours, two, one and a half would still work all right as well. Maybe even, maybe even, yeah, I probably wouldn't go any shorter than the one and a half. Right. I just think, you've got thick hair, but it, it does feel like there's a, it's, it's a finer texture, but there's a lot of it, should we yeah, say, yeah. okay? So more than being super thick, it's more of a fine texture with a lot of it. As you can see, it moves around, it falls quite easily yeah. as well. So essentially, what you're looking at is Chris's hair at the front is probably that length yeah. there okay so picking that out yeah. but everywhere else is quite short yeah. so it's got basically what he's got he's got like a short back and sides disconnected fringe and it kind of falls over to yeah. one side of that good thing with that haircut though it is it is a flexible haircut because you could put it up right you could wear it up you could wear it a bit more slick like it is now in yeah. the side part you've got the texture through the back that you can mess up as well yeah. so you've got You've got almost like two or three haircuts you could pull out of that. You okay. know, awesome. change the product, it would change the look yeah. as well. I think that'll be a key thing for me as well, like having that flexibility with yeah. the use of product. And things. Yeah, yeah, definitely. The minute I'm in the stage, it's so long, yeah. the product can't really do. I mean, any ounce of a wind, yeah. it freeze and the, the hair just goes everywhere. Yeah, it goes everywhere, yeah. So. That's it. That's just because of the texture of your hair, though. It is just a fine texture. So maybe what we could do is maybe we'll take the fringe a tiny bit shorter. So yeah. again, trying to stay as true to that image yeah. as possible, that, that look that he's got but just to match yours. So maybe slightly shorter on the fringe, but maybe a bit more shorter through here. Okay. So a shorter yeah. version of that, that'll just make it a bit easier. So, but again, talking about this haircut needs to work for you as well. Yeah. So it can be a good haircut on, a, on, a, on camera for him, you know, yeah. but it's got to work for you as well. So I think, again, looking at product choice, something that's quite dry, something that's quite uh, matte will work quite well. Yeah. I know in the film, it's, he's always, he's always seems to be quite sweaty. Yeah. I don't know if you noticed that, it's, he's always, he's always, it's always like a wet look yeah. in his hair. But if you look at it, he, he tends to wear a wet look in his hair. Yeah. Obviously when I was doing that haircut, I'd done a lot of research on like his Instagram and like, you know, yeah. other, other images of that kind of what he looks like after that film's finished yeah. or during the film. So it looks to me as though it is quite a long disconnection on yeah. the fringe, almost hangs over to the side, yeah. which is fine if you wear it like that, but also what you can do there is you can just tuck it back. That's it what right. I'd look to do, do you know I mean? I'm not looking yeah. for exactly that, yeah. the same thing, but having the ability, the yeah. and the ability to effectively do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know what I mean? Essentially, you can do that at the front. The back, you might not be able to do so much not because fine. it's textured, but you can still move it around. Yeah, yeah. Um, but what we'll do is we'll raise, the, we'll raise it, so we'll thin it out quite a lot, but we'll add loads of movement in this, so it can fall in different okay. ways. But also, what we could do, more than having, so something to suit you, so again, taking that haircut as a base, as, as like an image, we can more than leaving it hanging over the side. Let's connect this. Let's connect the corner in. Okay. Just so you've still got the long fringe here. Yeah. But we cut it a bit shorter here, so it, it sits into the hairline. Okay. Yeah. That's so that'll be a little bit more flexible yeah, for you yeah. than it being too heavy hanging Perfect. over. That's All right. Ideal. Cool. Let's do that, then, mate. Perfect, Sounds like a plan. Right, guys. So we've just shampooed and conditioned uh, Ruri's hair. Now, what I'm going to do on this one is 
obviously we're taking into account what he wants. So again, we're using the Chris Hemsworth extraction haircut as a reference, okay? But I want it to work for Ruri as well. So what we're looking at is, I've come out from the crown just to check how his crown sits. It's got a good sitting crown. He's got very straight hair, so that could be an issue again. But like I always do in all the videos, I always try and leave the crown to the very end. So it doesn't really matter too much, okay? But just talk about his hair itself. Fine texture, a lot of it. Feels fairly thick, but it's quite a fine texture. There's just a lot of hair at the moment. Um, but again, his crown sits just off the centre to the right-hand side. So I'm going to work with that as well. Again, pretty standard horseshoe in this. Working to get the length right on the back and sides first, and then the top is pretty simple. We know we want to go down to it's more just me and Ruby working together on the length. All right, so, so guys, I've just dried off the back and sides because we're using clippers. It's always nice to dry off the back and sides. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start with a three because again, I don't, I've never cut Ruby's hair. I've never, I, I don't know what it's going to be like underneath. I've got, an, I've got an idea what it's going to be like, how it's going to show scalp, etc. But I'm going to start with a higher guard so I can work down through the guard just to make sure that you know. I can always take more off, you know, the old famous saying, take more off, can't put, but more, can't put it back on. But it's true. So, you know, I don't want to go in there with a one and a half and be like, oh, God, that's a bit, bit heavy, you know. So, start with a three, start at the back. If you, look at, if you look at Chris's haircut in that video, it is quite high at the back, but I don't want to go that high for you because his head's quite, it's a lot more square than yours. So I, I think it kind of works slightly, but I don't want to do that to yours too much. I want to still have a, a haircut that works well for you, all right? So, I'm just going to take all this off at the bottom just so I can pop on the mask down the bottom there. But as you can see here now, so the difference when you leave longer hair when it's a lot finer, look at that already. Like that doesn't look too far off the image. So I reckon a two would be perfect for that. But that's what I mean, that was a three. So the difference, what that would look if I went straight into a one and a half, that would be so severe that I think starting off at a longer guard just helps. I'll move the mask put down at the bottom of his neck so I can work around the sides and that way it's out of the way then as well. Fine, I'll work around it, it's not a problem. It's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Man, it is a great idea but it's just, there's no give. <laughs> Save myself the embarrassment, and him the embarrassment as well. So guys, we're just working this three very high up because I want to create a nice bit of squareness in the shape as well because again if we're looking at the haircuts of the extraction film it is a very kind of high and tight because I think he is a marine so obviously it's a very almost like a marine kind of high and tight so I want to try and replicate that a little bit not using that as the sort of not, not trying to replicate that too much just because obviously it might I don't think it'll work too well for Ruri so I want to try and work that so it's still got that nice square element in it you see this the scalp exposure but then obviously we're still gonna have something that's gonna work for them from every angle as well. You can take some elements from it, but you've also gotta try and keep it true to life as well, like every circumstance you're gonna be in as well. So I'm working down to my two now. So I'm gonna put my two and a half on and work up and off. And as you can see, that two and a half is making a difference as well for scalp exposure, so I think a two could be a good length for this now. Just working up and off into the three. Now we're going to work on to our two now. I've always kind of had the same typical haircut. Um, I, I do quite like my hair longer. Um, not yeah. as long as it is today, clearly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's one of those ones I've kind of always kept at the fact that, you know, I've got quite a big head. Try to find <laughs> the haircut that kind of comp that makes that, uh, or I guess suits that. If you yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is a bit of a challenge. Um, but obviously with lockdown and stuff, I kind of thought, well, let's try something a bit different. That's it, that's it. Being a five foot three officer. <laughs> 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 yeah, exactly, that's it. You, you've got to be realistic, haven't yeah, you? Yeah. You know. So I'm moving on to a one and a half now. And what I'm going to do with this one and a half, I'm going to wear quite a high taper. Because again, we want the high and tight look, but I don't want it to be a high and tight haircut, okay? But I want it to look like it's nice and tight, nice and short. So what I'm doing is I'm working High and tight on the neck, it's quite a nice taper on the bottom so that we start to see a bit more scalp exposed down towards the edges, around the ear. But again, the majority of the length is, you know, a two and a three. Working around the ear, just to give that little nice, kind of shorter element to this haircut without it looking like there's loads of scalp exposure. I'm gonna work down to my one now, just on the very bottom here, just to taper that neck in. So again, getting that nice bit of scalp exposure down the bottom. My 0.5 around the very bottom, just to blend that out into nothing. And by using that, see from the side, it's keeping that nice bit of shape in there as well. 
chunks of work over it now. Just work down on the clipper like this. Because again, as you can see, it is a bit spiky on the side, so that'll really help to sit it flat and create that shape in there. The part of really is just imagine. So they see my name in the like. I mean, just moving on to the detailing now. So I'm not going to cut into the hairline too much. I'm going to keep it just to strengthen it up slightly as well. We're not looking for anything too shaped here. Obviously, we'll work it around the ears nice and tight as well. But we're looking for just a little bit of detail and just to strengthen the hairline up there as well. And work around. Again, we're not looking for anything too shaped. Just something that kind of makes it look nice and tidy for them. Just working into that bottom of the neck there as well. There we go. Just strengthen up the neckline as well. Coming up and off. As you can see, we've got that nice squareness in there, the high and tight effect. Okay, so we've got that nice bit of weight through here. And then what we do, we can balance it into the side. So we want, essentially want that fringe to just sit just right there, but still have a bit more length in it. All right. And we're going to work from the back to the front, because essentially the back is shorter, the front's longer. So we'll get the shape at the back, and then we can start to graduate it longer towards the front. All I'm going to do, I'm going to take about that much length off. Okay, because that way it will still fall nice and flat. But it allows us to leave that little bit longer fringe, but not too long. And the back can be a lot noticeably shorter as well. There's my guide that I'll follow. What we're going to do is pull this section back to the last section. Okay, so this allows us to call it over direct. So we'll start bringing it all back, okay, to the previous section. All I'll do is just graduate it a little bit longer at the front and just leave that a little bit more length in there. And also because the head dips forward, so the hairline dips lower than the apex, it will create more length naturally for us as well. Pull that back. So as we lower this down, it's got a lot of length in the fringe. We'll take that a bit shorter, but essentially what you've got, if you pick it up from the side, you've got short, getting longer, longer, longer and then really long, so we'll finish the fringe at the end. But look at that, just by over-directing. So it's all about that disconnection in Chris Hems with uh, the haircut that he's got off extraction. Now, what that would do, that would normally be this bit hanging over here like that. So if you look at the, if you watch the movie, that's why he's got that kind of thing. But it won't work for an everyday sort of look for Rui. It won't, it just won't work. So what we'll do is we'll keep a very similar element to that, but we'll just connect in the corner there, all right? So you watch this. I'm going to work back to the recession point on his fringe. We'll bring its fringe over, like that. And we'll work it to that recession point. So as we cut it in there, I've got my fingers to where we blend it into, angle it out, and that will cut there. Now, if you watch this, you can still have that longer fringe element, but it can still sit in to there as well, okay? So you're not having to wear that really heavy disconnection on the fringe, but you can still have that longer element of the fringe as well. So that's what you get, that angle there. So that's the blend you're gonna get there. So as that falls over, we'll cut the fringe a bit shorter. That'll sit just into that blend there, okay? Looking from where we finished. Pull that back, pull it back. Recession point, and cut off that. We don't want that to overhang too much. Bring this across, do very similar things we've been doing to the side, just to connect it. Pull that, and just cut into match, little point. And as you can see, as you try to comb that out, that's sitting nice. So we'll do that once it dries off at the end, okay? Now, onto the fringe. I think we can get away with taking it to the eyebrow level. I think that's a good length. So I'll just pull that down, take it to the eyebrow level. It'll still look longer because it's sitting down by the eyebrows and it'll be noticeably different to the back as well. And then we can start to angle this, angle this over to the side so that when it sits back, it doesn't sit into the blend. It blends in itself. So essentially, you cut it on this angle, but that works when you push it over the other way. Point cut into that. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the razor to create a bit of texture through there and some lift through the front as well because I want that fringe to stay up. And with Ruby's kind of hair being slightly finer but obviously got a lot of, lot of hair there, I want to help them to kind of achieve to lift that up. Otherwise it might drop because it's quite heavy so I want to help them with that but I want to add that texture through the back as well. I'm working from just the halfway point, slide our razor in and that will help to keep lifting those up, but that will also break it up, thin it out. With water, if it stands up with water, imagine what it will do with product in it. Okay. Thinning it out, breaking it up, and that nice choppy texture to it. Now what you start to see is we start to let this fall, you start to see that hair coming alive now. You see that texture in there, choppiness, you just got a picture of the Chris Hemsworth photo. I think you start to see it, because it's normally wet anyway, so it kind of looks quite similar. Oh. Move the blend, some razor over comb. So we're just trying this off now. And what you're starting to notice is that haircut really coming to life now. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna blend this a bit higher up through here, now it's all dried off. We've got that texture in there, so you can see that movement through the back, but you can see that heaviness through the front as well. So it's looking very, very similar, okay? So just perfect it on the high and tightness, just going to take that corner a bit higher. Now it's all dried off and I'm just going to point cut into it a bit more just to break it up a little bit more as well. There we go. So I'm going to finish off with a little bit of clipper over comb. Just to create that bit higher and tighter look. And just work over like that. Now to finish, I'm going to point cut into this. Now what I'm going to do, because you've got very straight hair through the side, and when this falls over, I want it to be quite choppy. So I'm going to lean over you, if you're doing your head back this way. I'm going to lean over here to that point there, and I'm going to break it up. So that falls nice and choppy. As that falls, that's nice and choppy, okay? Break it up. If I point cut and straight into it. Point cut into it. I've done root lift with the razor. I'm just breaking out the thinness as well. Just making it nice and choppy. Now as we lift that fringe up. Break it out with that, get rid of all that hair. Turn it around and just point cut into it as well. To really break that up, as you can see when you lift that up, you see how less blunt that is. There we go, so we've got that little bit of length in the fringe. It falls flat, but it does sit in nicely to the blend as well. The crown. So pick it up, just cut into it as well. That falls nice and choppy. So I'm just finishing off blasting this with cold air. It doesn't need heat, it's not wet. So I'm just going to blast this off. I start to see that shape coming out now as well. There we go. So product wise, I would genuinely say something like a matte finish would be nice. I don't know whether the whole wet look that he seems to have it in, obviously I know it's for the film, but I, I think Chris Hemsworth seems to wear it quite like kind of pomade almost. I think it might just be the beach kind of looky, you know, the kind of, uh, you know, where he lives and stuff. But I think for yours, I think if it was, because it is a, it's, it's very thick when you're sure, but it's a fine texture, so I'd go for a clay. I would use the Regal Gentleman Matte Clay on yours. I really would. Because it's got, a, it's got a very strong hold. So if you are mixing the style up throughout the call or whatever, like say you use work call and stuff, you've got the hold in there. It doesn't break, it doesn't kind of um, dissolve as you run your fingers through it neither, right. which is brilliant. So I'll use that, okay? Yeah, perfect. So you don't need a lot. I would say a pea, a pea size amount is all you really need, okay? Cool. Palm your hand. Now what you want to do with this, rub it through your hands, through your fingers, yep. okay? Make sure you get it all coated, even through, like that. Yep. Start at the crown, just literally just with, with your right hand or left hand, whatever you are, just work it across like that, just yep. in a circle over your crown, just to get it in your crown. Because a lot of people go straight for the front and then they, as they get further back, they end up with nothing in the back. Yeah, yeah. Start at the back first and then work it in like a shampoo. Okay, so right. rub it right into your hair. You don't have to worry about having to just style it perfectly as it falls. This haircut's completely going to work either way, so you don't have to worry about that too much. Rub it all the way in, and then bring it forward, and then sweep that over, okay? So that is our take on that Chris Hemsworth look. Now, obviously, you can fill it fall if you want like him, but I think if you brought it over, you've still got that weight at the front, the length at the front, but you've got that short choppiness through the back and it just sits right on the blend so you don't have too much of an overhang there. Yeah, you see what I mean? That's brilliant. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, amazing.
Brilliant, thank you so much. You're very welcome, mate. You're very welcome. That's awesome, thank you so much. You're welcome. It looks awesome, it looks really yeah, good, mate. Amazing. So, to recap, um, Ruby came in and he'd seen our video of the Chris Hemsworth extraction um, haircuts that we've done. Now, that for me is such a good haircut because it's a very versatile haircut if you if you can match it up to the person. Now I know the the overhang can be a bit annoying for some people, but we've just what we've done is we've adapted it to what Ruri asked for in terms of like you know he wants it to still be long at the front, so we can push it over. But I just had a feeling that if it was too disconnected at the front, it wouldn't really work for him. So what we done was we took the same elements of the haircut, short at the back, disconnected fringe, a lot longer kind of just about scalp exposure on the back and sides, but we connected in the fringe. So as you can see, it sits just at the blend point. So you can still notice there's a lot more fringe here, but it just doesn't overhang. So I think that, that really worked. I think that's gonna be a versatile look for Ruri as he goes on, you know, for the next three, four, five, six weeks, okay? So um, yeah, worked down to a two back and side, start at a three, uh, worked down to a two and then just around the very edges of one and a half. Did a higher taper on the neck, so went up to like a one a bit higher up, just to show a bit more kind of scalp exposure. And then we waited the razor through the top to create loads of texture through the back, root lift at the front so you can start to get the height. So the short hair from the, what we worked with the razor will help the long hair stay up. And then I just point cut into just to break it all up and just remove the, the weight as well. And then we start with some really good gentleman clay and that was it. Awesome, thank, thank you very much, man. With yours, I think what would be quite nice, especially at the top, you've got such good thick hair. Like you, you quite, um, you've got no limit really to what you can do because you could, you know, if you if you really like go away with this with like texture and stuff like that, it would be really easy for you to maintain. Yeah. But I think you can use a lot of different techniques to create a lot of movement in there. You can create a bit of curl in there. Okay. You create a little bit of loose loose bend in there as well. You know, if you want something that's really really like bed head messy, yeah. um, but then you can also like change the product and wear it maybe a bit more conservative if you want to as well. So the good thing about your hair, you've got a lot of scope to what you can do with it. Yeah.